What Hooper, he's a stamp man, he's out there chasing bears, climbing up tall mountains and falling down the stairs. If you want someone to crash the car, he's the one you give a call. For being such a loser, Hooper's really got it all. On the road, with George Dobell and Jared Kimber, two journeymen making their way between Ashes cities, armed with only cameras, partial wits, and Ashes spirit. It's a monument to John Flynn, who I think was one of the guys who started the Flying Doctor service. Uh, so he was a bit of a pioneer and saved lots of lives. And this is the, the monument to him. We're just, we're, we're the furthest north we're going on this trip, I think, aren't we? We're at Three Ways in Northern Territory, and we're about to start driving south, back down to Alice and Adelaide eventually. But this guy was well, much like us, really. He uh, was a bit of a pioneer, a bit of an explorer. Uh, he actually helped people through medicine. We're helping people through the medium of cricket. That's not a, that's not a <laughs> I feel dirty. So. Have England had bad starts to the series, George? Yeah, pretty used to that. Um, the classic example would be in India, where they lost in Ahmedabad, really stuffed by India. And they surprised everyone, I think, by coming back and winning the series, which was a fantastic effort. You could overplay their bad starts to the series, because they and, and then coming back in it because they started a couple of other series badly and not come back in it. I think it's South Africa and England, New Zealand in New Zealand. They yeah. didn't come back. But they came back against Sri Lanka, uh, in Sri Lanka. Yeah, they did actually. That was a good one. And, um, and they came back last time in the Ashes. If you remember, they bowled out chiefly in the first innings in Brisbane. Yeah. They didn't lose the test though. So can they come back? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I still think they're the better side. Um, I, you know, I know we've talked about this a little bit. But, you know. They've got a weakness, what, opening the batting. They're going to have a weakness at six, and they've got a weakness with their third seamer. It, it looks on paper at, at the moment like Australia's two weaknesses are at five and six, and then perhaps Mitchell Johnson if he goes back to bad Mitchell. So that's pretty level, isn't it? And there's no, and England, you would think, would be more, would be able to be consistent for longer. My biggest fear is, well, it's not a fear, because obviously I hope they lose every single test they play for the next 50 years, but my biggest fear is that they actually, um, that they can't re, you know, that they don't, they're not actually playing at the level that we think they can play at because they just can't get there anymore. I'm not sure they're the same side they were two years ago. No, I mean, I think that they're, they're all exhausted. Yeah. But uh, that, that's only a theory. I mean, mentally, of course, not physically. I think that, um, so you look at their record and you say, well, you can't write them off. They, they deserve yeah. some respect because of what they did in India in particular, which was incredible, really. But they've now lost. Well, they've lost. The, they haven't got a settled opener. Yeah. They haven't replaced Strauss yet, or Collingwood. Uh, they haven't replaced Collingwood at six, and now they've lost Trot as well. Yeah. Who, whatever recent problems, has been a mainstay of that number three position. Probably England's best number three in many, many years since Mark Butcher. Uh, yeah. So uh, that is a, a concern, and you would think it was a, a great weakness. So I would say that if they can come back. It would be a hell of an achievement. Yeah. And I think that's probably how they should think of it. Ball, isn't it? <laughs> it's currently, according to the car, 44 degrees, which is the sort of temperature that would make Dean Jones vomit. We have driven 2,436 kilometers and 100 meters. Which, 200 meters. As some people will know, is the distance to the moon and back four times, yeah. The distance to Mars, 7.8 times, I believe. There's also a bushfire apparently over here. It's so hot. It's all well and good to say that in India they came back in that first test, which I suppose they did in Brisbane as well. Yeah. Um, actually, they did in Gaul as well. So in all those tests they, they lost, they actually well, one one was a draw. But in all those three tests we were talking about, and they before, sort of did in uh, even in this test in Brisbane, you know, because I thought Cook showed that you could play pretty comfortably. Yeah, but. But I he just didn't do it for long enough, but, but he did show that... The difference is, though, that, I mean, he shouldn't have needed to show that on this pitch because that was never the problem, really, was it? No. I mean, you should have been able to bat comfortably on that pitch at all times. I know Mitchell Johnson's a bit frightening, although Cook played him better than anyone else. He, Cook and Carberry. And Carberry was unlucky in the first game. Just wonder played if, quite well. if it's a bit of an end of an era for England. That's what I, I suppose that's what I'm saying. So, 
Well, they basically. shouldn't be in terms of their ages. You know, Anderson's not old, Broad's not old, KP's not old, uh, Bell and Dan Cook pe- aren't old. It's a kangaroo tail. No. It's like a baguette. <laughs> of meat. But it is, it's like a baguette. Oh my God, there would be quite a lot of meat there. Mm. See, and you'd eat it and not have the bone. Mm. And it tastes like what? Chicken? I don't know. Have you not had it? No, I haven't. You can see the fur on it though, yeah? Mm. The paw on there still. No, it's a tail. Oh, yeah, it's a tail. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if Alistair Cook was asked to give birth, he'd find a way. It is extraordinary. Uh, so I, I would never write him off. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if he did quite well. I watched him in the nets a few times before the Brisbane test and he looked miles away. He, d- he didn't look at his best at all. That's all I'm saying. He just, I mean, like, bad innings, I don't know. But he did bat pretty well in the second innings. Yeah, but Alistair Cook isn't, it's been a long time since Alistair Cook. Like, yeah. sort of guy that gives a well, wicket like, away. Yeah, and I still think that, yeah, they're coming back to the well quite often. Yeah, well, that's the other problem, isn't it? I mean, how many, and you, you how many times claim. he's felt like Trump first thing in the morning and just thought, I want to get off for a bit, you know, I, I want to... George Nobel keeps making me birth people. Oh, can I get this? Can I get a good, you very quick salad, please? Yeah, if you want to, Matt. It's fine. Hunter's okay. <laughs>